Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brad, man, Sean, and today I got to talk about the foundation of how everybody should think about marketing today. Whether you're an artist, visual artist, musician, manager, whether you sell soap, t-shirts, doesn't matter. Understanding marketing funnels will help you better strategize how to create fans, customers, and even a community to spark a movement. So let's get into marketing funnels and then I'll be back. All right, all right. So this is what a marketing funnel looks like. It's split up into these five categories, awareness, consideration, conversion, loyalty, and advocacy. Now I've put it into my own words. Now for instance, awareness is basically the discover phase. This is however you find out about something, however you discover it. That could be through social media, email, search engine optimizations, which means when you're on Google and something pops up in the browser, as far as the search terms, um, it could be an ad that pops up when you're watching TV or when you're on one of the websites. You can be watching an interview on The Breakfast Club and the person is in the interview and now you figure out, like, I wanna know who this person is. Some kind of collaboration, word of mouth, or you can somehow discover this person's content. There's so many ways, but however you discover that person, now that's point blank and simple. The consideration phase, which I call the learn more actually, is when people decide a little bit more intentionally to learn more. Now there could be passive learning more, which means there's always just more and more information popping up about you to this person. Maybe they have a bunch of friends who are fans about you, so they tend to hear more. But the learn more tends to be a little bit more active where they're now saying, I'm aware of that person. I discovered them. Now let me figure out a little bit more about this person. Now, if you're an artist, that's pretty much going to look like them listening to your music, or they could be consuming your social brand. If you have a lot of funny social content or whatever type of social content you have out there, they might just be consuming that. But typically it's going to be the music or at least you want it to be the music. If you have some kind of brand like a software in this learning more phase, that could be you providing some kind of free content or information like an ebook or something like that and then they download the ebook. Same thing could be done for an artist though. You can provide something and get something in return like an email address or phone number as well. And then even if you have like a t-shirt brand or something like that, that can also just be people finding more about what other styles do you have now that people have learned about your brand. That's learning more. It's kind of straightforward. It's really just the idea of people figuring out more. They're going down the rabbit hole of your brand. Now conversion, this is when that engagement is getting a lot deeper. And this is when things become a lot more intentional from you as a brand because you are trying to create fans out of this marketing funnel. Now, what does that look like? When we're talking about deepening engagement, you have multiple ways, but one way is extremely systematic. When we talk about sending out emails, if you, in the consideration phase, exchanged some form of product or some form of information for somebody's email, you can create a system and then engage with those people systematically. Or you can have ads that are targeting these people who are learning more about you. They tend to call that retargeting. The people who have engaged with your brand a little bit, now you're starting to hit them with ads. That's why you see those pop-ups whenever you go to certain websites and then later on, those people start showing ads on other sites. But the freer option really comes from just staying consistent and providing consistent engagement on social media, right? So people might find out and learn more about you on social media, that's how it happens for most people. But then when you're deepening their engagement, you just have to provide content after content after content. And it really needs to be in a variety as opposed to just the same type of content. Because in this phase, they're really starting to learn more about your brand in particular. And they're deciding whether they actually like your brand in this phase. So you're deepening the relationship. And by staying constant on what you post on social media, it allows you to stay top of mind with them and provide more and more for them to consume. Quick side note, because this is the perfect depiction of why so many one hit wonders become one hit wonders. 
Think about the fact that if someone discovers you and then they even start to learn a little bit more, you have a little bit they can see about you, but then it goes into that conversion phase and you don't have a bunch of content for them to really grab hold of and become a true fan of you. You don't have an established fan base for them to really show what the lifestyle and culture is around you as an artist, around your brand. That's something that's really necessary to drive somebody to the next phase of a fan, which is where that loyalty is created. And if you think about it from the standpoint of the software, by the way, now their established culture and brand value and social proof is usually gonna be like reviews, product reviews online. People are looking for credibility in this stage outside of just themselves. With a t-shirt company, they'll be looking for other people wearing the brand or what quality, what's the true value of the brand? Is it in Walmart or is it in some high, I don't know, higher class boutique in LA or somewhere? These are all the things people start to look at because they wanna get a sense of the lifestyle, the brand. They wanna know how to associate you as an artist or this brand as a person because they want to know if they fit and if you share the same values for the lifestyle that they find value in. And if you complete this part correctly with the right people, congratulations, you got a fan. But now you have to stay consistent for that maintenance. You have to continue to communicate the values that they decide they related to and just do that again and again and again. And those people who really like you and rock with you, they will then advocate for you, which is what you see at the bottom. Number five, and when they're advocating, that's spreading the word about you, word of mouth. So then the fan that you created goes out, tell somebody else about it, and then they start them back at the marketing funnel, at the top of the marketing funnel, because that person now is aware of you, they can consider you, you have the opportunity to convert them into a loyal fan, and then they can go out and convert another person for you. This is why when someone has a strong core fan base, those fan bases really tend to grow because they're creating these people who then go out and are ambassadors for their brand. And we'll get deeper into each stage in another video. All right, now that's it for marketing funnels, but I'm also gonna do a video on sales funnels because people tend to get the two mixed up. And of course, I'll show you how you can connect the two for yourself, particularly through music. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.